The Battle of Lantada or Lantadai was a border skirmish fought on July 19, 1068 on the banks of the Paisuurga near the frontier between Leon and Castile. There Sancho II of Castile defeated his brother Alfonso VI of Leon. Though Rodrigo Diaz de Vivar is usually associated with this battle, the evidence of his presence there is rather late and his influence in Castile at that early stage of his career too slight to make plausible the tradition that he was Sancho's alferes. Lantadaya, Plantada in the Historia Rodrici, 17, was a small village located some 10 kilometers southwest of Melgar de Fernamental, and about 2 kilometers west of the river Pysur got on the Leon side of the frontier. The closeness of the location of battle to the border suggests that no major invasion took place. The skirmish may have resulted from the increasing ambitions of Sancho, the eldest son of Ferdinand I, whose inheritance was smaller than his brother's. Sancho may have been encouraged by his brother's ambitious invasion of the Taifa of Badajoz, whose king, al muzaffar was fatally ill, sometime between May 1 and June 7, 1068. Alfonso succeeded in extorting a tribute from the ailing king, despite that the Perias of Badajoz had been relegated to his and Sancho's younger brother, Garcia II, in the division of the realm after Ferdinand's death, 1065. Bernard Riley writes that such an initiative on Alfonso's part would have been the first, unmistakable sign of his intention to depart from the settlement arranged by his father. Pelayo of Oviedo is the earliest source for the battle, and he probably relied on stories then current or from his childhood. He attributes the victory to Sancho and says that Alfonso returned to Leon. Subsequent historians treated the battle as a sort of judicial duel deciding which brother would accede to the other's kingdom. Already in Peleo's chronicle the influence of this interpretation, abetted by hindsight, are evident. The late 12th century chronica Nyrensis provides a year for the battle, 1068, but otherwise relies on Pelayo. The slightly earlier annals Complutenses place it on July 19, though there is a discrepancy in the record, since July 19 was not a Wednesday but a Saturday. The presence of Alfonso at the battle is made slightly improbable by the existence of a charter issued to the monastery of Sahagan on July 7, presumably at or near Sahagan, since it was in the presence of the abbot and prior. On July 20, the day after the battle if the annals complutenses can be trusted, Alfonso's Alferez, Martin Alfonso, confirmed a private donation to Sahagan. Likewise, the long-term effect of the battle was muted. Alfonso resumed his attack on Badajoz, now ruled by the old king's two rival sons, between November 22, 1068, when the king was again at Sahagan, and March 1069. 